Okay, so example two is dealing with uh, the effect of falling on overall heat transfer coefficient. As we mentioned in many industrial pra pra processes and practices, the falling is unavoidable. So we need to think about how to, how, how to incorporate these effects in our calculations. So let's say we have again a double pipe heat exchanger. So we have hot fluid in the, in the middle and a cold fluid on the outside. So let's say this pipe is made from stainless steel. Thermal conductivity is given. So inner diameter is given. Outer diameter is given. So you know the thickness of the pipe, steel pipe. So we are also told the convectivity transfer coefficient for the inside, which is 800. For the outside, we have 1200. And we have the falling factor for inside and outside. Okay. So first question is, we calculate the thermal resistance of the heat exchanger per unit length. Thermal resistance, which is the inverse of uh, 1 over u. And then second, calculate u inner and u outer based on inner and outer surface area. Again, this is just an algebraic example. So because we already have h i and h outer given, so it is not going to be a lengthy example. So, so this is uh, so the effect of effect of falling on u overall heat transfer coefficient. Okay, so that's the that's the idea. So, so all the properties are given, and let's assume everything is constant. So our goal is, in part A, in part A, find the overall resistance, which is, I'm going to just show you the equation because we already have this equation. I'm just going to. Uh, copy it here. So this is the equation here. Our first goal is to find uh, our resistance. So that means I have to simply input all the values here. So A inner is pi D inner times L and A outer is pi times the, the outer times L. So we don't know L, but it is we are asked to find it per unit length. Let's say, assume, whenever you are asked to find something in per unit length, just assume it is one meter. So that means if we assume this is one meter, the inner is given. So that's going to give us 0 0.047 square meter area. And for the outer, you'll get 0 0.0597 square meter area. So we have H, right now we have A inner, we just calculate that. A out, we just calculate that one. So resistance inner is given, resistance outer is given. So we know the inner the outer, so we know these two. So L is one. And thermal conductivity, this, this was made from steel. So we know the thermal conductivity of the steel. So this is uh, 15.21. And H inner and out, uh, H out is given. So it is just an algebra. So we'll plug in the numbers and we get it. So one over 800 watt meter square per Celsius times 0 0.047 meter square plus 0 0.004 meter square Celsius per watt divided by 0 0.047 meter square plus log 0 0.019 this is outer diameter 0 0.051, this is the 5 inner diameter. 2 pi, k is 15.1 watt meter per Celsius. And length is 1 meter. So we have two terms, so we need to have uh, two more terms here. So we have 
0.001 this is the resistance for the outer section and divided by the outer surface area 0.591 meter square this is meter square per Celsius so meter square Celsius per watt and then finally so we have uh, the final uh, resistance which is 1 over h out h out is 1200 watt meters uh, meter square celsius times outer surface area 0 0.597 meter square so now if you do the, all the math here so you'll get our total so our total is going to be 0 0.0 532 per Celsius per watt. Okay, so that is part A. Part B is asking us to find U in and U out. So, and if you focus on this equation, R is equal to 1 over U in H in. So that means U in is equal to 1 over R a in and u out is equal to 1 over r a out so if you plug in the numbers you'll get 399 watt meter square per celsius versus 315 watt meter square per celsius so these are overall heat transfer coefficient with respect to inner wall with respect to outer wall and our total is given here Okay, so this is a simple example to show the utility of this equation shown in, in here.